Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And as I mentioned in my last video, I'm continuing with the Career Growing Pain series. And today's topic is all about salary pain. And I'll be honest with you guys, I recorded a video prior to this and I was like, I have to re-record it because I just didn't like it. And I was really struggling with how do I approach this concept of salary pain and money. And it just came down to how do I talk about money in relation to career. But the reason why I didn't like the original video is because it was more geared towards um, almost thinking about, okay, how can you get a promotion and how can you, you know, get more money if that's your issue. But to be very candid, like that's really not the focus of my coaching, nor is any of those general tips and tricks. If you watch my resume video, it was more about what I think and feel um, about my resume when I'm putting it together versus um, throwing all of these tips at you on how to you know, get your resume to the top of the pile. So in true form, I had to just refocus and think about what I want to talk about for this video on salary pain. And really, I want to talk about your beliefs around money. So if you're having some type of pain in your career in regards to salary, instead of activating on, you know, what do I do in order to talk to my boss about a promotion or how do I go about getting a new job so I can get more money? I want you to be really thoughtful about your relationship with money. And I think the reason why, again, I had to redo the video is because when I do these videos, I have to walk through the process myself and ask myself the hard questions. So then I can like present it to you because I've also had to think about it. So there's some general beliefs, I think, that are just floating around uh, within society that most people just generally, they um, don't question. And so I wanted to go through some of these beliefs and see if any of these are familiar or if you kind of believe these as well. So the first one is just um, awkwardness or feeling bad about talking about money. And when I think about um, even jobs and applying for new jobs, there's a part in the process if you're being offered the position where you're going to talk about money. And so there's this kind of uncomfortableness like, oh, I'm going to have to negotiate or they're going to have to give me a rate and then I'm going to have to say that's too high or that's too low. So just general, um, maybe some uncomfortableness around just talking about money at all. And I know for me, like that's something that I would admit. It's just generally kind of uncomfortable for most people, not for everybody. The other thing I would say is that some people view money as evil, not everybody. But if you're someone that's like, oh, I don't really need any more money, like money just gives you problems, that's money's just kind of evil, I'm good. Then how can that be affecting your current situation um, around money? If you think it is evil, you're saying, no, no thanks, or I'm, you know, I'm not willing to ask because I'm uncomfortable about money, then how is that producing results or lack thereof in your life around money? The other idea or belief around money, and I know I definitely have this one or have or had this one working through it, is that money is scarce. So it's just like, well, you know, there's kind of not enough to go around. So I've got to, you know, um, figure out how I get my piece of the pie. Money is scarce. It's not everywhere. It's, it's, it's limited. So I've got to figure out how I get um, the money that I can bring in and that's, that could be difficult. So there's some questions I want you to ask yourself around money. The first question would be, what do I believe about money in general? So I mentioned some of the beliefs before that were kind of, you know, blanket statements, but think about it for yourself. What are some of the beliefs that I have around money? The next question would be, what is that creating for me in my life right now? So based on those beliefs, what is the result that I'm seeing around my money situation currently in my life? The third question, I'm still 
really amazed at this question because it made me pause. And I, again, I had to work through it to say, man, what, how would I answer this? So the third question is, if money were a person, what type of relationship would you be experiencing? <laughs> I was like, what? Like, would I be in an abusive relationship? Like, is this like, um, I'm very dependent. Like, okay, we're gonna have to stay in relationships so like you can't leave me. Um, you know, is this like a parent-child relationship? Like, am I scolding my money? Am I trying to control it? Or am I nurturing it? You know, I'm just throwing stuff out here because I'm, I'm even like, how do I answer that? But I thought it was such a good question because instead of thinking about our beliefs and our values and all those things that are internal to us, being a reflection of, okay, this is what I think and I believe, and this is what's being produced in my life. We don't have these thoughts. We don't process these types of things. And then we just go out based on fear and try to get more and try to earn more. Because one of the things that I think is very interesting is if we chase the money, feeling like a certain feeling or a sense of success or confidence or happiness will then follow, then you'll likely be disappointed because money doesn't do that for us. But our thoughts and our beliefs about ourselves is really what does that for us ultimately. I hope this was interesting for you guys because you can tell I'm just like giving you some questions, talking about it very openly, but um, instead of you know, the general way I think people talk about salary and career, I wanted to provide you with a different spin on it. And again, I'll leave those questions down below so that you can reflect and answer them for yourselves. Make sure you have your journal handy. Just jot down what kind of comes to mind when you thought about those questions. In the final career growing pain series, I'm going to be talking about the anywhere but here pain. And some of you may already be laughing like, yes, like get me out of here. My current job is just a dead end. So I'll be talking about that pain in the next video. And I'm super excited to announce a challenge that I'll be running at the beginning of June. If you are one of those people that is like, I do not have a dream job. I don't know how to go and uh, go about finding it. I'm going to be putting together in five days some really helpful steps to get you started. So I want you to join my mailing list and tell me that you want to participate in the challenge so I can give you all the information to get started. I'll have an upcoming video on that soon. I hope you join me and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.